Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Video Tutorials series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, I would like to discuss arrays in C. Before we proceed and understand what is an array, first we understand why do we need arrays. Assume if you want to store and process n different integer values, then without arrays, you may need to create n different integer variables with n different names guys. If you want to store and process n different integer values, then without arrays, you may need to create n different integer variables. Whereas an integer array allows us to store and process n different integer values just by creating a single variable guys. Let me explain the meaning of this paragraph with an example code. I go to code block. Assume I want to store and process 5 different integer values. Without arrays, I must and should create 5 different integer variables guys. Here I say int num1 equal to 10. Num1 is a normal variable. A normal variable can hold single value guys. I cannot store at a time 5 integer values inside num1. I cannot store 10 integer values at a time inside num1. Num1 can hold single value at a time. Normal variable can hold single value at a time, whereas arrays can hold multiple values guys. To store and process 5 different integer values, without arrays, I must and should create 5 different integer variables guys. So I say here int num2 equal to 20, int num3 equal to 30, int num4 equal to 40, int num5 equal to 50. We can display the value inside num1 to num5 using printf statement guys. I say here printf in double quotations percentage d backward slash n comma num1 semicolon. I'm going to copy this line of code paste four times 1, 2, 3, 4. Here I say num2, here I say num3, here I say num4, here I say num5. If I say build and run, we get the output saying 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I close it. Let's take, I want to store and process 5 more integer values. Then what I have to do? I have to create 5 more integer variables, right? I'm going to copy these 5 lines of codes. I paste here. Here I say num6. Here I say num7. Here I say num8. Here I say num9. Here I say num10. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we can display the values inside num6 to num10 using printf statements. I copy these five lines of codes. I paste here. Display the value of num6. Display the value of num7. Display the value of num8. Display the value of num9. Display the value of num10. If I say build and run, it displays 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I close it. Now what I want is, I want to store and process 100 different integer values. So what I have to do guys, I have to create 100 different integer variables. If I have to store and process 1000 integer values, then I have to create 1000 integer variables, which is time consuming process. And also it increases our code size, right? To solve this issue, we take help of arrays guys. Arrays allow us to group similar type of data elements under a single variable name. Instead of creating 10 different integer variables to store and process 10 different integer values, with the help of arrays, I can group all these integer values and store inside a single variable guys. How do we do that? Let me delete these lines of course. Here I say the data type int because we want to store and process integer values and then we write the array name. I say numbers. In pair of square brackets, we write the size of the array. I say here 10. 10 indicates how many elements this array is going to hold. Then we say equal to. In pair of flower brackets, we write integer values separated by comma guys. I say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You can see that I am grouping 10 integer values and storing inside numbers array. Arrays can hold multiple values guys. So remember, arrays allow us to group 
similar type of data elements under a single variable name. So what is an array guys? An array is a group of homogeneous data elements. That is list of similar type of data elements. Homogeneous means similar type. Heterogeneous means different type. Remember homogeneous means similar type. Heterogeneous means different type guys. An array is a group of homogeneous data elements. That is list of similar type of data elements. If you create an integer array, it can hold only integer values guys. You cannot store floating point value, character type value inside an integer array. If you create array of type character, it can hold only character type values. It cannot hold floating point values or double type of values etc. Understanding? So that is the meaning of array. Array is group of homogeneous data elements or list of similar type of data elements. We can display the values inside an array. Instead of using these many printf statements, we can write only one printf statement guys. Now how do we display values inside an array? We have to loop through the elements guys. So what I do, I am going to create one integer variable i, initialize with the value 0. And then I say for i is equal to 0. You can see that I am initializing i with the value 0. Why? Because arrays follow 0 based indexing. Arrays follow 0 based indexing. That means each element in an array is going to have an index guys. And the first element is going to have the index 0. That is the reason I am saying here 0. First element is going to have the index 0. Next element is going to have the index 1. Next element is going to have the index 2. Next element is going to have the index 3. Next element is going to have the index 4. Next element is going to have the index 5. Next element is going to have the index 6. Next element is going to have the index 7. Next element is going to have the index 8. Next element is going to have the index 9 guys. 0 to 9 total 10 elements right. Then I say here i less than 10. Less than 10 means 9 because the last element here has the index 9 guys. Then i plus plus. On every iteration of the loop i value should be incremented because we want to display one by one these elements 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. Opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket. Inside that I put this printf statement. How do we display the values inside an array? We write the array name guys and then in pair of square brackets we write the index. For example numbers of 0 displays 10, numbers of 1 displays 20, numbers of 2 displays 30. So instead of writing 0, 1, 2, I just say here i because i value is incrementing here from 0 to 9. So numbers of 0 is displayed, numbers of 1 is displayed, numbers of 2 is displayed like that, numbers of 9, 100 is displayed. When i value becomes 10, 10 less than 10 is false because 10 is equal to 10. This loop is terminated. If I say build and run, you can see that it has displayed 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that is how arrays are useful guys. If I want, I can store 100 integer values. I can store 1000 integer values and process them using just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lines of course guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. Let's proceed further. Each element in an array is going to have an index or a subscript guys. As I told, each element in an array is going to have an index or subscript. Hence, sometimes arrays are also called as indexed variables or subscripted variables guys. Remember that array is a list of similar type of data elements and arrays are going to follow zero based indexing. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to understand the syntax for declaring arrays, the syntax for declaring and initializing arrays, how do we process arrays, what are the different types of arrays are there, how do we use arrays to solve different problems, etc, 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 guys. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly, try the code yourself, experiment with more examples. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about C programming language. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.